Hey guys, this is my second update of my 57 rimless tank. See so here, uh, did uh, get more livestock in here, pretty much maxed out my livestock. You see, just passed by is my Mr. Uras, doing very well. Uh, I got uh, you know a lot of coral that's new that you see probably right now. Got a uh, pair of Clarky clans here that have been hosting my uh, Tulsa leather here. That's the uh, well, Midas blending. And over here is an uh, open brain coral that's very new, pops it good at night. And there's another uh, multicolored Wesso, looks very nice, green, red, purple, and has a little yellow in it too as well. Over here is a really nice piece. This is actually, uh, hopefully it'll be crushed onto the rock, is a uh, maize brain coral, green and the inside is like a purplish gray or pink in that level. So it looks really nice at night. And this is uh, some, not A cans, but they're related with the peach, pink, middle, red, and then uh, purple around it. That should hopefully encrust all over the rock. My feather duster here. Uh, this is a Synthelia. This is uh, orange on the outside, and it's green in the middle. This thing has at least 12, 13 heads I've counted. Uh, doing very well there, too. Over here, I got... My Oroe Yellow Assessor, which is new, uh, I got nice about six, eight the heads, uh, yellow tip torch, and I got here the rare orange hammer wall coral right there. Moved some things around over here is the uh, pearl bubble coral right there that looks real nice. It's the white clear one. I also have a Melanaris Rass that's in this tank, but he's in the sand right now. And I also have a trio of firefish that's underneath the sand here. Uh, they'll come out when they want to and they go right back in there. And over here in this hole here is a pearly jaw fish. Uh, right now you can't see him, uh, but I see his head right now. Look at me, but the, the darkness, this uh, camera ain't picking up. And here's my flame angel. And right here is my starry blenny. Now, I was going to get tail spot blending again, but uh, he's also from the Philippines, the starry blending. And, uh, you know, I decided to go this direction because it looks pretty cool how it changes the colors with the spots. Over here, I got the uh, Rasta leather with my Tulsa leather here and the Capitella leather coral here that my friend gave me. So, as you see here, it's a nice dancing right now. Uh, that's my uh, yellow cucumber. And I got some zoanthids here. I got purple over there. And some other different color zoanthids to grow on this rock. So far, things are doing good. The ick's still in, somewhat in my tank, but the fish seem to not show these signs of the spots all over them. And, uh, you know, it's always a good thing. I have the UV sterilizer running all the time, so it's pretty much not killing the ick in the tank, but probably getting some of that tomites out, the, the flow, free floating ick. And that's what's going to help keep this population down. If the fish are not stressed and they're healthy, uh, they won't let the parasite uh, take over their slime coat and then show the uh, little white dots that you normally see, which are the cysts. I also have a uh, new mandarin, which is not from ORA. Uh, it's a female blue mandarin right there, but I cannot uh, find them right now because she's probably in the rock somewhere. But uh, she is eating the mice's shrimp and uh, cycle peas, which I saw her in the store. So I said, no, let me give it a try. So save some money on that aspect because the ORA is pretty much about triple the price uh, that you normally get a regular mandarin. But this one was eating, so hopefully it doesn't relate on copy pots. Even though there's some copy pots in this tank, um, the this hopefully will substitute and keep this mandarin healthy. Uh, my bird of paradise right here. This coral takes a beating from me because I'm always bumping my hand into it when I'm cleaning my tank because it's just uh, in the way all the time. But it's still standing and doing pretty good there. And I uh, hope you know hopefully this, these uh, coral will start growing very nicely. Got some nice show pieces here, and uh, you know some nice pieces that will pop and will keep you updated. So. Quick update, showing you the different coral. Um, 
Things going good. Still got a lot of hermit crabs and my conches over here. I got my uh, this is the uh, orange lip conch you can see here. His eyes are a little roaming around. And my gold torch with my uh, porcelain enemy who is uh, still kicking and thriving. And uh, it's my raspberry uh, chalice right here. That's one of my shrimp, Jacques. And my acans are doing pretty good over here. I'm going to probably add more acans. And uh, there's my uh, electric blue armor crab. Some algae that I uh, put on the clip. I think it fell off, so they've been uh, eating that. And uh, that is it right now. So I see a lot of new additions, calls going on. Fish is stocked out. So now it's just the maintenance and uh, see how things turn out. And we'll keep you updated. Here's my Stromia Star, which when I had the uh, puffer a short amount of time, it uh, kind of nipped that one leg and uh, kind of receded a little bit, but it kind of stopped, so I think it's going to heal in time, or we will grow, because that's what starfish do, it just takes time. And hopefully I could get the Amalinaris rest to pop his head out in my next video. It could be very, very beautiful colors. And uh, take it there. Alright guys, so, second update.